Uh, let's do so in the company of John Hendry and Dean Windus. Come on, chaps. Right then, I asked, I asked this question before the game. Um, there were quite a few. Uh, any Middlesbrough fans in? Yeah. Tad quieter, Dean, eh? Tad quieter. Yeah, I thought we were fantastic today. You know, no disrespect to, to Middlesbrough, but I thought we were the better team. You know, um, great goals. Alan McGregor's made a great save to, to keep us in the game uh, from friend. Um, but he won't be his friend, will he? Bubble. <laughs> All right, Dean. <laughs> no, but uh, top of the league, you know, fantastic home result again. You know, we we look as though we're full of confidence at home, and the spirit looks fantastic. The lads look together, you know, from and Steve will perhaps, you know, delighted with a, another clean sheet at home, which you know breeds confidence as well. So the lads up front, I thought, Hernandez worked tirelessly up front, up on, on his own really. You know, Diarmi got the goal, you know, in the box. Um, and the second goal, yeah, Klukas, he sort of gambled. You know, David's it, uh, a scuff shot and he's tapped it in, great finish. And then Tom just caps off with a great left foot, left peg strike. Yeah, a, a good afternoon. John, uh, you said the Middlesbrough were, were a good team. They are a good team. The away form has been very, very good, but we were just that bit better today. And I agree with you there. I mean, I felt the first 10 or 15 minutes, but I started OK. I thought uh, they were a better team. Only for that first 10 or 15 minutes after that, Hull City were by far su superior and thoroughly deserved uh, all three points there today. I thought they were magnificent. It tells a story when, uh, I mean, Dean mentioned there that the George Friend shot, that was well into his second half. That's the only save that Alan McGregor had to make all afternoon. So that tells a story how much in top Hull City were there today. And uh, I thought they looked really good down both flanks, down the right flank, down the left flank with, 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 with Robertson and Klukas. And, uh, the icing on the cake was the third goal, it was a magnificent strike from Huddleston. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other than the goals, obviously, John, where did it go wrong for Middlesbrough and right for City in your view today? I just felt, I mean, uh, uh, Hull looked better up front. I mean, Nugent had a, had a half a chance early doors when he, when he dragged it wide of the post. But for me, they didn't ask enough options, the, 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 the whole rear guard. Whereas Hull City asked a lot more questions of, of the Borough defence. Yeah, um, for City, Dean, three good goals, uh, as you said, and, and some, some great combinations from players on the pitch. And Diarmi playing in a position we saw briefly against, against Brentford, but that really worked today. Yeah, he just, as you said, just plays behind the front. It stops there and sends the midfield, sitting midfield player playing when we haven't got the ball. We scored, what, in the 44th minute? It's a great, great time to, to score. Uh, but second half, we were you know, well superior, really. I thought we, we dominated the game, nullified their strengths. You know, Stewie Downing, very, we talk, John talked about him before the game, very quiet. You know, like, yeah. you know, Nugent didn't have a chance. I thought, you know, he maybe should have scored, you know, when he dragged it wide. But, you know, we got the goals at the right times. Team spirit looks very, very good. The, 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 obviously, togetherness. And if you've got a good change room, you've got a great chance of getting promotion. There was almost a swagger there in a good way for, from our team. Um, confidence, isn't it, really, I suppose? Well, it is. And Steve made the substitutions at the right times, you know, and, you know, shut up the game. You know, kept the ball in the last 10, 15 minutes. The game was over, really. And as you say, just capped it off with a fantastic strike from Tom. You know, he's, he's got two great feet. You know, he's uh, couldn't cut his hair off, could he, this time? Because he ain't no. got any. But, uh, but no, great result, top of the league again. And just a nice little international break now for the lads just to have a little bit of a break. Get everybody uh, back, you know, fit and ready. Hopefully Snodgrass is, is, is not far away. So the, the strength of the, the team is getting better as well. Alex Bruce said that he'll be ready for the next game. Slight little hamstring, but he should be fit. But Harry Maguire... And, and, and Michael didn't really didn't have much to, to really work at really. No, um, John, I know you didn't play with Dean as such, but you, you looked after him in an advisory capacity. What, what was he like when he won, and what was he like when he lost? Uh, very similar, I imagine. Just you know, still gobby, yeah. Still gobby. I remember he got sent off in the car park one week. <laughs> was that West Ham? I think wasn't it? No. no was that the Aber Aberdeen one? No, it was, no, that, one. That was so many. Sorry, so, so many. many. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was for Bradford City. And I used to meet him for a, for a drink after the game. Shock. Yeah, yeah. And this particular day, he never came up. And then he rang me on the way home and says, John, I've been sent off. I says, what are you on about you've been sent off? I was just watched the game. He says, in the car park. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, what had happened, at this, to be, he never had his best game that day. And I think they'd lost 2-1 at home. So he jumped in the car with his little lad. Little lad's in the passenger seat in the Range Rover. Could, could barely see him. And... The three officials are walking through the car park, so Dino puts his 
window down. Oi, ref, don't give up your day, day job. <laughs> you were, uh, uh, uh. So the referee turned around and says, oh, Dino, you weren't so good yourself. And the little lad, Dino's little lad next to him went, yeah, ref, you're a muppet. Like that. <laughs> Dino drove off and turned around to his little, bad, little boy and said, that's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> a chip off the old block, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah got a five game ban. How long? Five game ban, yeah, for it, yeah. But I blame my lad, but he didn't say that, he said another word, which I don't really advocate. <laughs> he tried to. Actually, that was his argument to the FA. Do you think I would swear in front of my little boy? That was Dino's argument to the FA. But, but only if the FA knew, the little boy was just as bad as Dino. I would uh, ladies and gents, uh, it's been an entertaining afternoon. I hope you'd agree, certainly on the pitch. I hope you'd enjoy the contribution from these two as well. I'm Alex Burgess. Please give your thanks to Dean Windus and to John Henry.